Existing reality. What's our next step to promote learner agency? Initially, we thought our challenge was a lack of equity in digital devices. But as we drilled into the data, we have begun to consider something else. The skills and confidence of our teachers. Are our teachers and learners using the digital technologies they already have effectively? How do we know? What supports do they need to be effective? Do we know what effectiveness looks like in this area? Are our teachers and students using digital tech to create, or are they only end users? Vision statements in the New Zealand curriculum aim for students to be effective users of communication tools, critical and creative thinkers, and active seekers, users and creators of knowledge. There is, however, recent international evidence that many teachers are not explicitly teaching information literacy skills, resulting in students not developing the skills they need to become critical and efficient users of text, including online information text. In a knowledge-based world, digital literacy skills have the potential to impact positively on the lives of our students and their families. The concept of informational literacy is central to all successful learning and, by extension, to successful living. We initially wondered if our students were disadvantaged in acquiring digital competency because of access to digital tools and knowledge at home. A digital divide can be referred to as a lack of access to necessary material, human and social resources, in order to be able to use computers in a meaningful way. Although this divide may be part of the problem, our research showed that it was not all. International comparisons showed New Zealand households seven equal in computer ownership and ninth in internet access. This suggests that New Zealand youth are significant users of these technologies. So what is being taught in our school? Studies of schools with a similar demographic to ours identified that digital tools were often used as babysitters, rewards, word processing, basic non-critical research, and singular or siloed activities. We've gathered some baseline data from staff and students which indicate our school may be the same. Using the same R model, we feel that this indicates that much of the digital work being done in our classrooms is substitutional or at best augmented with little or no functional improvement in the student's digital literacy or capability.